Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Too Long Didn't Read. I am John Henry uh, from johnhenry.us. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, in Capitalist America, Bank of You. Uh, in spite of all the different disinformation you'll find around the subject, it is very true today that the, in the U.S. that banks uh, have rigged the system to rob everyone else. And it just sort of happened while we weren't looking. Uh, the result of it happening is this massive inequity of wealth and power that we're living in now. In the U.S. and in most other places, we have this thing called fractional reserve banking. In this system, commercial banks are allowed to loan money in excess of their actual cash and assets on hand. If the fractional reserve is 10% and I have $1,000, I can write loans for 10 times that. Perfect conditions for this to actually work are, first, all the loans have to be paid back completely on time. Second, the banks aren't leveraging regulatory and tax code features to lower their tax liability through artificial or less than honorable, even if legal, means. In that perfect world, the payment of the loan cancels the money created by the loan. This is the same mechanism as federal tax. They print the money by appropriation, then they destroy it by taxation. We don't live in a perfect world. If you default on a loan, that's money in the economy, which has lost its way to get back out. If you pay it off early, that's usually a loss of some amount of profit for the bank. That and innumerable other variables all have have to be accounted for in tax policy. Even though that money cancels itself out as it's returned to the lender, you still have to adjust tax policy to account for the money that's in the economy right now, including the rates we the people must pay in to keep things running smoothly. The people who manage the whole thing aim to balance between maintaining currency value and ensuring there's sufficient currency stock in the economy to keep it stable. That balance must be calculated to fit as closely as possible to what's really in the economy, rather than only the aspirational projections of what commercial banks expect to be in the economy. It's that first calculation which has the greatest impact on tax policy. You and I pay taxes now to balance the money creation that banks are profiting on now by charging interest on those loans. Then banks hire attorneys and accountants and lobbyists to take advantage of regulatory and tax code features to reduce their own tax bill and also to have a strong hand in creating those features. And that includes increasing the amount of money they can print via loans versus the amount they actually hold. And in this way, they literally are creating money, taking it back into themselves and putting the costs of the money creation off on the rest of us. Eventually, other capitalists realize that they have attorneys and accountants and lobbyists too, and join the party, further shifting the burden of taxation onto the backs of the people they were refusing to pay and then overcharging to live. Us. They are never paying the taxes needed to offset the money they're printing and putting in their pockets, and thus that money, the taxes, has to come out of our pockets. Then our pockets become too shallow to meet our needs, and we get a credit card or take out a loan. Next verse, same as the first. They get paid on the money, then they don't pay taxes on what they get paid. The taxes must be paid to keep things running smooth and stable, so we, the rest of the people, have to pay those taxes instead. Over time, this puts an ever larger portion of the real wealth in the hands of fewer and fewer people while leaving an ever smaller portion for everyone else. Executive compensation is a tax-deductible business expense. This isn't all the result of some invisible hand or magic. It's the result of individual human beings making decisions for their own material benefit, knowing that they're doing so by harming others. And as the old meme goes, those people have names and addresses. Not to encourage anyone, mind you, but that's why we don't talk about these things. If there has ever been a valid way to say that taxation is theft, this is the true way. The problem is you say that and everyone thinks the thief is the government. The government is just a bookkeeper. The thieves are the people who are taking the money. Capitalists, oligarchs, plutocrats. The more the control they have over every aspect of our lives, the less likely it is that we'll start looking for those names and addresses or even know there's a problem at all. Capitalism is a dead-end street for the species, and none of the other things we've tried are perfect either. So it's time to move forward into what's next. And hold on tight, because these folks aren't going to let go easy. That's it for me. I uh, hope that clears some things up or tells you something you didn't know. I am John Henry, JohnHenry.us. I appreciate you. I am completely crowdfunded. This is as independent media and activism as independent gets. So please do check out the Patreon and PayPal links and such that are uh, along the page. You can always swing by uh, JohnHenry.us slash money. And that's always going to have all of the available ways that you can contribute to help me create this work and improve the quality of it as time goes by. Thank you very much. Thank you.